the shop. And uh, thank you ever so much, <coughs> Mr Speaker. Well, that worked out well, didn't it? What an absolute and utter disaster. And to see the Leader of the House standing exactly. there, yeah. no apology, exactly. no contrition, no ability to let it sink in just how bad things have come. The last place that he wanted to be today was at that dispatch box doing exactly the opposite and saying exactly everything that he didn't say two weeks ago when he presented that motion. And they were doing everything possible yesterday to get to 10 o'clock so this debate wouldn't be had, only to be told by the Honourable <laughs> Member from Christchurch with the word of object, best laid plans and all that. So what we've got is another day, another day of headlines, another day of examining Tory sleaze. And what has happened in these 13 days since he was last at that dispatch box? Well, we know that public trust in this government is now at an all-time low. Their inboxes have been swamped with furious constituents demanding knowing what they're going to do about all of this. Day after day, there's been endless Tory sleaze stories in the national newspapers that they've all been waking up to. Companies are now dispensing with the services of Tory MPs in these lucrative second jobs because of the stink that this has always created. And they have lost their lead in the opinion polls. Things couldn't actually be worse for them. They would actually now be faced with losing their seats if a general election was called tomorrow. And they have the Leader of the House to thank them for their current sorry 